let me say this and I am not trying to make anyone mad. I am not trying to make anyone sad or whatever else like that. In my past, I had sex with more than one woman. I did. It is bad, but I did. And as far as I know, I don't think I got any of them pregnant, and I thank God for that. There may be Kev Jr. somewhere, or Kavina <laughs> somewhere out there, but hopefully not. The way I was in a past, hmm, the way I was in the past until a certain age, if a woman would have gotten pregnant by me, I probably would have persuaded, enticed, perhaps pushed to get that woman to murder her baby, as in abortion which that is murder. So I thank God I did not have any children as far as I know. And hopefully I don't have any children out there. I hope so. Because that would probably be really awkward. Really strange. Maybe. I don't know. There may be some women out there. You may be not married and you are pregnant now. You may be married and pregnant now. Look. There is absolutely no reason to abort your baby. Kevin, I have little money. Kevin, my boyfriend told me to kill my baby and my boyfriend left me. My husband left me. I have no money. Things are going so badly for me. There is so much chaos in my life that I don't want a child in my life now. Look now, look. Don't kill your baby. I have been in situations. I have been in situations where it looked so bad to where I could not figure out what to do. Much of the time now, or I guess these past few times or whatever, I pray about it and pray about it and pray about it, pray about it, pray about it. Pray, 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 pray about it. Then almost every time, as it seems like a pathway opens up for me to walk down. Yes, I may have to do some things, but another option, as it seems, opens up. Like God makes a way for me. Even though in the beginning, I may get very nervous, anxious, or whatever else, but if I choose to consistently do what is right, trust in Jesus Christ, pray about it, maybe even fast, God usually always works out the bad situation that I am in. I am in a bad situation now. And at first, it looked 
bleak, if I am saying that right, or if that is the right word for what I am referring to. But as I go through it now, it seems like everything is being pieced together, like a puzzle or something like that. You may have a baby right now. You may be considering killing your child. You may consider, you may not want to, but killing your baby may seem like your only option. You don't have to do it. Do what is right. Follow the rules of the Bible. Continue praying about the baby. And I believe God will make a way. Look, who am I? Am, am I someone really special? Like, am I this top elite alien that came, that came from a different planet like Mars or something? Like... Did I, like, am I some type of <laughs> supernatural elite alien man with superpowers? I am a regular person. Yes, I serve God, but ultimately I am a regular person. If God can do this for me, can't he do it for you? There is a person I teach and... I believe one of the things like I kept on pounding on that person, like teaching that person constantly, more so back in the past, maybe not so much now, was faith, 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 faith. Like pushing on that person really hard with the issue, with the topic of faith. Content. God sees what you are going through. But are you going to take the principles of God and work them in your life? Or are you going to think in a natural way and say, I don't really see myself getting out of this situation without doing something bad? You have to think spiritually. There are many things that happens and has happened in my life that I could not figure out. Yes, I could have done the bad option, which I did at times, but you have to wait. Uh, you have to wait on God. Do I do everything right? No. Am I this top elite man of God in the whole wide world? No. But learn to pray and wait and do and live a life pleasing to God. So what? Pray, wait, and live a life pleasing to God. Pray and wait. How long should I wait, Kevin? How long should I wait, Kevin? You may ask me. <laughs> Weeks, months, years, whatever. I believe on this earth, we are going to be tested. I think a lot of the mess we get into is from our own doing. Maybe we are reaping what we have sowed. So why should I... Why should I make things worse and do more evil and get in trouble more? I am, let's say I am in trouble now for doing evil. So I think to myself, the rational thing to do is to do more evil. So... I am going to reap on that, right? So more evil comes in my life. So I may think again, let me continue doing more evil. We are going to reap what we sow. I believe that is right. I believe what I said is right. I believe we are going to reap what we sow. 
do the right thing even when it hurts. No, choose not to kill your baby. Kevin, the doctor said the baby may kill me if I try to, what is that word, birth it? So you are going to take a life to save yours? God, um, yes, I know killing, murdering is wrong, but the doctor said the baby will kill me if I don't kill it. So, yes, I know murder is wrong, but hey, I guess somewhere in the Bible, it is okay for me to kill the baby for a situation as this. No. Killing your baby for any reason is wrong. If, if you are going to kill your baby to save your life, that is wrong. If you are going to kill your baby because the doctor said the baby will have defects and disabilities, that is wrong. Who are you to murder your baby? Who are you? Kevin, I have no money. You know, my situation is so bad. Deal with it. If your situation is bad, aren't you going to make your situation worse by doing more evil? Stop looking at the earthly side of things. You have to look at the spiritual. I think that is one of the reasons I am not saying I am so perfect and I stand on this high mountain mountain looking down on people. No. If you are already going through bad things, why make it worse? Why make your situation worse? Let me say this too. And I am not trying to offend anyone. If you are going to get an abortion, don't include others in it. Like, hey, Uncle Kev is, for instance, which I am not going to do it. Or let me say it like this. Hey, Billy is going to kill five people, but he want some people to watch him do it. Why would you do that? I am going to have an abortion and I want my mom and dad and cousin to come with me. Why include people in the evil you are going to do? That is wrong. That is wrong. What if someone, and I may get a little graphic, what if someone told you, hey, I am going to rape someone and I want you to watch and tape it. Aren't, ah, isn't the person who is taping, recording, recording the incident, isn't that person at fault as well? Right? Like, how isn't that person guilty too? That person is recording. Why isn't that person stopping what is happening? Why would I go with anyone that is having an abortion? Won't my hands have blood on them as well? Well, Kevin, you wasn't the one that murdered the baby. You just went with that person for support. So I am supporting someone doing evil get out of here man what no that is wrong let me stop here man